はい。So, film class, got your popcorn? Good movie this week. Oh, just picking your popcorn. Much popcorn. Oh, yeah. I think they already had some from Dad. Hey, film studies 2A and 6B. Okay. Be sure that you check stream every once in a while. We had uh, some problems with rear window link, and then I found a new one. And then some of you said, it doesn't work. Da, 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 and I'd already put on the new link. And because you hadn't checked stream, you didn't know that. So be sure and check stream every once in a while. All right, classwork this week. It's film lighting and the movie The Natural. And let's go to this one first, film lighting visual organizer. It's gorgeous. I spent a ton of time on this, so I hope you really enjoy it. On the second slide, there are two links to go to about light. They're by the same company. The first one is quality of light, and the second one is direction of light. But before you play them, I want you to look at, see how it says quality of light right here? And it says 01. Look at all of those slides first and then come back up here and watch this. The reason being, these videos are so super condensed with information and they go by really fast, like in seven or eight minutes, that I think you'd be overwhelmed. And then when you took questions in my quiz about the lighting in the natural, you'd be like, I don't know what to do. So it would behoove you, benefit you, to look through this packet before you watch each video. So before you watch Quality of Light, the first one, go through all of these. I'm not going to read them to you. That would make this too long. Um, and okay so see where it says it changes from one to two and then it says second lighting video so when you get to the slide that's got these faces remember the shot from raiders and this is what's that one singing in the ring when you get to that one then you're ready to watch the first video called quality of light and it's seven minutes long then come back here where it says second and oh i put a link there right there that's good and then go through these now, the really simple, very interesting. You're going to learn a lot about the movies. And if you ever make your own videos or movies, even fun things for Facebook or different things, uh, you'll learn a lot about lighting. Now, see where it turns blue, this one? This is the last slide for direction of light where it says conclusion. That means you're ready to watch the second video, direction of light. Then this last video, I don't have slides to it because this one, the link's right there, 10 minutes long, but it's super condensed as well. And the guy talks really, really, really fast and there's like super tight editing on it. But he uh, does a great review of everything. I included things that he did. I embedded it inside the other info slides. So you're not, you don't need more slides of the same. One of the things about uh, the art industry is you'll get different names for the same thing. Like for example, in theatrical lighting, also in film lighting, there are these lights that are kind of long cannon shape. And in the middle, they figured out a way to put in a steel pattern that has intricate design in it, say like uh, the shadows of a, a mini blinds or a window frame or uh, the leaves on a tree. Like when you're in the park and you're sitting under a tree and it's around 12 o'clock and the light's coming, sun, sun light's coming straight down through the tree and you get this kind of dappled look on the ground and on you or your friend and while you're looking. So you can create those patterns of light artificially with these steel things you can put inside the light. And there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them, or you can have one custom made. But anyway, these little steel patterns are called either patterns 
or gobos, which somehow reminds me of the Muppets for some reason. Patterns, gobos, and they're also called cookie cutters because they have a very stencil kind of quality to them. So they look like cookie cutters. They aren't called stencils. But depending on what, you know, if you're in Paramount or you're working with um, Lucas or, or whoever, everybody's got their favorite name for them of those three. Does that make sense? So I included that. He talks about the loop shot or the butterfly shot, the beauty shot, the paramount shot, same thing. Okay, quit blabbing. So you'll watch the third one. The other thing he's good at is he gives you really good tips, kind of stepping away from the movie business of how to set up lighting just for yourself. Like if you were ever to take uh, the video bulletin class or the film production class that Evans teaches every year at the high school. Uh, they would you know, set up the lights and stuff like that. Okie doke. So that's the lighting one. Let me go back. So there's that one. So, the natural. Okay, packet two. So there's those three. So this week is about film lighting and the movie The Natural. So those are the three. Movie The Natural. When you watch it, please make sure that you don't have other internet tabs open. Like my husband does this all the time on the phone. He'll, he's like, why is it so slow? And I said, well, how many windows do you have open on you know, Safari or Firefox? And he's got like 30 of them. And I'm like, oh, close those windows. So don't be streaming other things or have like Facebook going on off to the side when you're watching the film. I think it'd be less likely to stall, uh, freeze or glitch. And even ask other people in the house not to stream if your internet's as slow as mine. So be careful with that. For this one, the link is much stronger. I pray to heaven that it works. I've tested it with a couple people. You have to have be logged into Google, I believe, to make the link work. Be sure to count to 20 after you hit play to let it kind of boot up. And then I wouldn't try to fast forward because I did notice it would it would freeze up if you tried to advance it too much. Don't feel you have to watch the movie all in one sitting. You know, do 30 minutes and then, you know, come back to it. That's fine. All right. There is a quiz at the end after you've watched the movie and after you've done the lighting. There are lighting questions about the movie The Natural inside that quiz. So be sure you've done all the lighting videos and reading. Okay, so I gave you a little introduction here and things to think about. There's my slide. Here's character, so sure to look over that. Um, one of the girls that's in this, um, Memo Paris, who names their daughter Memo? I do not get that. And I guess it's not Memo, because that like meet Nemo. Into the natural. This is super important because the beginning is a little bit confusing. You'll first see a guy standing at a train station and it looks a little bit old fashioned because it is, it's 1939 and he's about 35 years old and he's getting ready to leave the Midwest and head, hop on a train to New York. Then the film will go through a series of flashbacks of his life. So be sure to read this section. Think about during the film, be sure to read this section and this quote. Now, because it's a movie about baseball, I thought, well, what if someone in the classroom doesn't really know how baseball works? So I gave you just the basic rules of baseball, and then everybody, even if you know about baseball, should read this part because sometimes it gets confusing between distinction between the World Series and winning the pennant, and that's important in the movie because they don't show the World Series. They just show the, the winning of the pennant. After the natural, here is a link to a documentary about the natural and how they made the movie. Remember how we watched those making of the movies? So those are always good. Now, keep paper and pen near you. While you get to a point of something you thought was cool while you're watching the documentary, maybe jot down the time because down below here it says graded assignment. Respond in an email about the documentary, 100 words, so under Google Docs, um, tools. You can send it to me in Google Docs or you can just plop it into an email. 
whichever. Just be sure you attach your name inside the document. So what are you going to write? You could write something like, uh, answer the question, what surprised you the most about the making of the natural? Now, that's probably not going to give you 100 words. What else could you do? I wonder, so while you're watching the film and those kind of thoughts come up as your brain was like thinking about, I wonder if they ever did this, or I wonder what kind of problems they had with that. Or that reminds me of the lighting in all the Godfather movies, blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, for example, you might have a wonder, I wonder if the Harriet Bird character was based on a real person. Well, actually it was, spoiler. And you can look down here because I answered that. When you've got that, email it to me. So response to the natural documentary, the making of afterwards. And let's see. So the lighting, the lighting packet, which I showed you, the movie, the natural, the documentary. Um, there's the lighting packet into blah, blah, blah. Remember the flashbacks. Their natural test. I guess I should open that up for more days because it's probably better that you take the quiz closer to when you watch the movie. So I'll change that. And at the very, 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 very end, for those of you that are real film buffs or just have an excuse to be away from your parents, leave me alone. I'm I'm doing homework. <laughs> um, this is optional. Reading about Redford, I watched a interview show uh, it was uh, actor's studio uh, on bravo and it's funny he was this like rebellious uh poor uh, spunky kid when he was growing up in fact what's interesting trivia about the uh, the natural is when he was in high school and then when he went to college he went to college on a baseball scholarship the real robert redford the actor he was that good at it okay so there's that um if you want to know more about robert redford if you want to like a movie list there's a partial list on this link if you want to look at other films by him and then if you have cbs all access and you like uh, Twilight Zones. He was in a couple of Twilight Zones and the one called Nothing in the Dark um, is really good. And he's super young and, and, and cute in that one. Okay, I think that's it, right? Lighting, quiz, you got it.